So, we're going to talk one more time, and I'm going to leave this stupid fucking shit alone with the video, with the aerospace thing and all that shit. I said what I had to say. Um, reason why I had to say it was because not only is it bad for his image, it's, it could put his life in danger, bro. His career and his life. But you stupid motherfuckers that rock with him, y'all refuse to tell him the truth. Y'all a bunch of uh, uh, yes men. So now it's coming out that they saying it was a skit. All right, so was the strawberry video a skit? Was him being secretly recorded a skit? So a skit, but so just because it was on TikTok, right? That be it was a joke because it was on TikTok. So everybody posts joke videos on TikTok. Nah. So. They post a joke of him drunk as a skit. Please share with me what is the reason to do that. What are they benefiting from by posting a joking skit of him being cradled like a baby, like he's like he's in a whole other dimension? What is Errol Spence getting from that? I mean, after all, it's about Errol, right? So, what is Errol Spence benefiting from by letting his girlfriend record him in a skit? Like he's like he's uh intoxicated. What does aerospace get from that benefit, bro? TikTok views. The way I see it is what would happen is he would you know he he's kind of fucking up his bread doing shit like that. But see, it's kind of like with Kanye, right? We all for Kanye for a lot of you know, he's speaking his mind and all this shit, but at the same time, he fucking up he fucked up his bread, bro. By coming out on video and social media saying what he said and it fucked his brand up bro and he's not gonna be able to bounce back from that Errol Spence the car accident I ain't even gonna say the strawberry video I'm not even gonna say that cause I mean I, he didn't look fucked up in that video but this one he looked messed up that could they damage his fucking brand, bro. But you fools, you fools out there, I refuse to let him, you know, to, to, to be like, yo, bro, what are you doing? You know, grab him by the fucking shirt. Like, bro, first of all, get rid of that broad, man. Get rid of her, first of all. That wasn't no goddamn skin. <laughs> that wasn't a skin. Then they using the fact that she said, oh, I hit her with the car. Okay, even if it was a skin, What's the point of saying I hit him with the car? What the hell does that mean, bro? They both was fucking fucked up in that video. It looked like both of them was out of their minds, probably skied up. It was a very weird video. But that shit was not no goddamn skit, bro. Anything to defend this guy, man. This is this is just it's, it's looking bad for your boy Errol Spence, man. So it was in a skit with Bud said, yo, everyone, I know what's going on over there. Leave that shit alone. That was a skit. What it's looking like to me is his girl is setting him up, bro. It looks like, because I, because I, the way I look at it, right, it looked like Bud says. In half a mile, make a U-turn at Virginia yeah. 20 South. Bud, Bud says what he says. Then automatically, don't, like not too long after that, here comes a video with him all messed up. Don't. Don't that kind of sound, don't that look a little strange to you? This the same girl, right? Was it a skit when she said, yo, um, I want you to knock uh, Errol the fuck out. Was Make that, a U-turn at Virginia 20 South. Was that a skit? I'm over here headed to the gun shop, picking up a new toy. This is what I do. Oh, damn, wrong turn. Wrong turn. Oh, no, actually, no over there anyway was that a skit when she said I want you to knock Errol Spence the fuck out and I want to walk out and rewalk with you this is the same girl I think right is this the same girl I think it is I, I mean can y'all share that with me is this the same chick so that's strike one right I mean I don't know what goes on with them with her closed doors but she seems toxic bro so but from what we can see that was strike one the strawberry video calling him gay was strike two. 
How you gonna call your old guy gay, bro? And film him if he was wrecked or not. Filming him and that shit was set up, bro. Look like he know he like he was fucked up and she staged everything. She staged the fucking strawberries. Like she staged the fucking um the cookies and shit like that. Oh, that's not it. It's in the bathroom, there's cookies in there. Shit look weird to me, bro. Some weirdo shit going on in boxing, man. Shit is weird, bro. But I'ma say it again. If Bud was the one doing all of this stuff, you wouldn't hear the end of it, man. I was watching um that other nigga channel, you know, the the, the graveyard shift nigga, right? And I guess there was a Bud support up there the other day. He's like, yo, y'all niggas is y'all niggas is homos, bro. He's like, Arrow was a homo, something like that. And then some was like, Yo, you wear chokers. You, I look at in the comments and dudes is like, yo, you got, dude got on a choker chain. And then son like, yeah, you wearing a choker, nigga. You gay. I'm like, wait a minute. Then Errol Spence have on a choker too? How you going to call that man gay? But And talk about him wearing a choker. But Errol had on a choker. In 600 feet, turn right. What the fuck are you talking about, man? Then the dude was like, yo, so we ain't going to talk about how. Turn right, to, then turn right. Are you trying to kiss this boy Yellow Beezy? You know what? You know what the uh, comeback was? Oh, so we ain't gonna talk about Bud when he's out there dancing with a white girl, white old lady. That was the comeback, son. That was the comeback. Hilarious. Hilarious. Yeah. Your destination is on the left. My first time at this gun shop. Man. Yeah, I bought a nice little joint, joint, something, um, some throwbackish, man. Nothing too crazy today, but. I'll show y'all in a little bit on this channel. You know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy. But um, let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all get y'all drop comments, like, subscribe, all that shit. I wanna know, man, because this shit is This is some weird, weird, weirdo shit going on, man. How they trying to uphold it and call it a skit. And then I'm like, all right, if it's a skit, what does he benefit from? It's not like a, somebody making a TikTok video, somebody dancing or singing. Or a challenge. What is the point of acting like you drunk and high on a on a TikTok video? A skit. What is the benefit from that? Aerosexuals, tell me right now in my comment section what's the benefit. And all this shit, she's a beautiful queen. No, she ain't. She's she's a um she's a Jezebel. That's what she is. Ain't no beautiful queen. You don't get called a queen when you try to degrade your man on, on social media. You ain't no queen to me, bro. You the, you, you, the, you the gum beneath my shoe. That's what you are. But anyway, it's your boy Rebel Life Boxer. Y'all catch y'all later. And I'm out.